In last tutorial, I explained how to fetch data from the database and populate the form fields. In this tutorial, we'll see we can use the same form to insert data in database as well as to update data. Means we'll fetch data and then we'll change something in that data and then push back to database. So to add data or information about author earlier, I also explained in tutorial number eight of this series where we added submit handler means we added form data model as a submit handler and we used the default insert service of that form data model. Then what is the difference in this tutorial? So in this tutorial, I will not configure submit handler means I'll not use form data model as a submit handler we'll use the services we define we define three services insert get and update so i will add a button that won't be a submit button that will be a normal button and on click of that button we will call that insert service you can do it in other event as well uh, but i'll show you in the button so if you see the form data model we created uh, in previous tutorial, there are two default services, get and insert, but we are not using these. So we have other three services defined in previous tutorial, get one, get one we have already used to fetch data. To insert data, we'll use this service. To update data, we'll use this service, okay? So how we're gonna do that? Let me add a button here, okay, button. Simple button, not submit button. Okay, let me update this simple. Let's say save button, save author. Okay, all right. And let's say add author, just add title. That's it. Okay, I'm not binding anything here. Just save it. And if you see, okay, now add a rule to it. Okay, same way as we created in previous tutorial. So add author on what kind of event? It's a click event. On click event, invoke service, all right? Which service? This service means prefill add author service. You, If you can relate this, you will see here add author. This is the services coming there, okay? And what are the input? Obviously all the fields, all fields here. So if you see that SQL database author ID is auto incremented means as soon as you add it data if you do not provide it will add itself so it's it's not necessary to provide this information means this author ID so but I'm providing it from our side and add this information DOB email and just add gender okay what you want in return whatever let's say I need this all right just save it close it so if you see i did not add submit handler if you go to the form and author this check this and if you see the submit handler okay submit handler is already open if you see the submit handler nothing it's simple whatever comes out of box i did not add here form more form data model okay so let me save it it's done let me let me add in preview mode and let me add this information okay so it's submitted obviously I did not define any redirect page or something it's just a simple button so this data must be added there and if you see your data you will see a 5 means author ID 5 and this data has been added now now let's update this data so what i will be doing that i'll add a one more button alongside this get author and we'll call the update service using this in the same way so i have added a button and just change the uh, title and all now let me add a rule again okay so we'll use that service update author on click simple the same thing again and the service and now this time I'll use update author, okay? And the same thing, whatever the information we need to provide is author ID, name, again, the date of birth, simple thing. All right, email and the gender, all right? One important thing you will see here is this one, okay? 
is author IDs again. Now this field is used to actually identify your row inside your database. Okay, again. So this again, this initial fields are to submit data and this is to identify again. This is a duplicate obviously, but you will see update query always need the primary key or a key to identify your data. So don't forget to add this again. Okay, so this is important this one and if you want to return something just return it let's say i want to return this id that's it and it's done okay close this now let me refresh this and now fetch that data let's say uh, let me move it to preview okay let me data about four author id four okay this has been come and now let me change from sunil to let's say am author all right and if i update this let me click on update author so after updating this what you should see apart from sunil that field uh, that particular cell should have been updated to author am author okay so let me go there and check that uh, in database Okay, so if you see now this fourth row, fourth row, the name has been updated. So that way you can update your existing information. So now you must have a question after this tutorial, like what did you use different? Means you were earlier also submitting data. So the first of all, we did not use form model, means form data model and submit handler to submit data. We only use a rule we wrote a rule and inside rule we call a service okay form data model service and those services are not default services all right so this is happening on a button click not form submit we are not submitting form all right we are getting data obviously we are fetching data from the database okay using that service get service and we are updating data using update services so after these two tutorial, you must know or you should know how to use services. So now I use those services in a button click. You can you can call them as per your need. You can call on the change field change and you can call on pay. Even you can call on the page load. Page load is a bit of different. I'll explain in coming tutorials how you can use it. So how to get and insert data using form data model services. Okay, I hope you understood. If you have any question, please add your comment. Thank you.